Kelly Mo. If you couldn't tell already, today we're talking all things fashion. Today's video is actually inspired by another one of my favorite YouTubers, the Anna Edit. And she frequently does videos talking about capsule wardrobes and taking 10 items and turning them into 10 outfits, which is what we're doing today. And I really wanted to do a capsule wardrobe or a 10 by 10, 10 pieces, 10 outfits for classical musicians. I'm not even gonna pretend like I haven't been wearing sweatpants and leggings for the last year, but I've been kind of missing getting dressed up and wearing some of my favorite pieces. And I think this is a really great way to have some staples in your closet and see how far that they can take you. So like I mentioned, we were gonna be looking at 10 pieces. We have eight clothing items and two pairs of shoes. And we're gonna see how we can take those 10 pieces and turn them into 10 outfits. Before we get into the pieces, I just wanted to let you know that I will be linking all of the items down below in the description box and also some dupes for maybe some of the more expensive items that are in the list. So the first piece in our 10 by 10 is a black blazer. And if you couldn't tell, I love blazers. Um, this was a splurge. This was a Marley lost her mind and spent a lot of money but I'm really hoping that this is just a, an investment piece that I will be keeping in my closet for the rest of my life. I will be buried in this blazer. There's nothing that says staple like a classic black blazer. This is the Acne Studios blazer and I love it. I think it's really great for concerts. It's really great for outfits like this. I could easily switch this blazer out for my classic black one. And the fit is just so beautiful. Um, there are so many dupes though for a black blazer. I also have a blazer from H&M that I find really, really comfortable, fits me really nicely, and is easy to play in in concerts. There's just so many great ways to style a black blazer, and we will see some of those soon. The next piece is a neutral sweater. I think that having a neutral cardigan, it could be this color, which is like a, a beautiful oatmeal color, or it could be black. I mean, as a classical musician, I always gravitate towards black anything because I know that I can use it in concert and off stage. But I purposely went for a non-black sweater um, because this is a 10 by 10 for classical musicians, but we don't spend our entire lives on the stage. And sometimes I might want to pop into rehearsal wearing a cute little oatmeal colored cardigan. Probably also make sure you have a black sweater because it will really come in handy for when you're playing a concert and it's a little chilly. But I purposely wanted to emphasize having neutral colored sweaters that are not black. So I don't think that I said what this was. But it is a frame sweater and it was actually a collaboration with the brand Majuri, which is actually the brand of my rings. And I really like their brand. It has a really beautiful, I don't know if you can see this, detailing here on the back and here's the rings um, but yeah it's a really beautiful sweater it's really soft it's buttoned really weird here because I'm trying to keep it on the hanger but later when I try it on for you guys you can kind of see how it fits but yes neutral sweater item number two our third piece is a button-up shirt it doesn't necessarily have to be a white shirt. Wow, that's really bright. It doesn't necessarily have to be a white shirt. This is just the one that I picked. I feel like a white button-up is just a classic. This is a button-up that I got from the brand Anina Bing, which you'll see a couple more times. That brand is definitely a splurge brand. But I really like that she has a lot of staples in her collection. I just really liked the fit of this button-up. It's a little bit longer in the back. So it kind of hangs down here, and it's kind of nice because then my butt's not hanging out. <laughs> it actually comes up about here on my arm, and you'll see the fit of it in a little bit, but any kind of button up, but I just think that the fit is really classic. Really whatever color, whatever material, whatever shape that suits you and makes you feel really comfortable, I think is perfect. But yes, this is just such a great way to throw on a shirt and look really put together, and really cute. This piece is also a Nina Bing, and this is probably one of my favorite black blouses that I've ever gotten. It's a silk black blouse. I don't know if you can see the detailing, but it's like a leopard print. I just really like how subtle this print is, so I feel like I can still wear it on stage and not get in trouble. I'll let you know if that changes. I feel like as classical musicians, it's really 
at least for me, really easy for me to get into a rut with my concert dress and sometimes I'm just like, oh, this feels so boring, I'm wearing the same thing every week. And sometimes it's hard for me to find things that make me feel fabulous and like, ooh, I've not, I've not worn this before. I've not worn this black blouse before. Um, but this was just kind of a fun way, a recent purchase for me to spice it up a little bit. I'm hoping to eventually do a video about how to spice up your concert black. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But this would definitely be one of the ways that I would spice up my concert black. And I can style it with whatever, because it's a black blouse. The next item I actually brought two pieces because I just wanted to show you the two different colors. But I think that having a neutral tank in your wardrobe comes in handy so much. These are both from Anina Bing. It is completely unnecessary to buy your tank tops from a high-end store. This is just another moment that Marley lost her mind, truly. But I do really like the fit. The material is really kind of like firm, really structured feeling. It's not flimsy. I feel like they're a good length. A really good dupe is actually the tank top that I have on now. It's from the brand, oh, I don't remember. Summer. Mm. <laughs> not summer, Sunday best. I got it from Aritzia and it's just so much cheaper than these tank tops and it's actually a little bit softer and I think it's a really good dupe. It fits me pretty much the same way that these fit me. But yeah, I'll list some other dupes. I recommend H&M, Target, Aritzia, or you could also lose your mind and get your neutral tanks from Anita Bank but that is completely unnecessary, I am saying to myself. But like you'll see a little bit later on in the video, I can so easily style these tank tops under anything, under a blazer, under a sweater, by themselves. It's just a really great thing to have at the ready in your wardrobe. The next piece that I found to be a really great staple in my wardrobe as a musician is a silk cami. Mine has lace detailing on the front, but I think that's that's definitely preference. Um, I also have a tank that's not silk, but it doesn't have any detail on the front. So I kind of have some options on how fancy I wanna get or like what look I'm going for. Just like the neutral tanks, it's a really great way to layer and I sweat so much. Um, catch me after a concert, catch me before the concert, honestly, and I'm probably dripping sweat. I live in Miami Beach. I am constantly sweating, it's really nice to be able to have something that's a little breezy, a little airy, and I can pop on my blazer like two seconds before I get on stage and then rip it off when I come off stage and I still look pretty cute, pretty put together in a nice dress cami. So obviously I can't get on stage in just this, but it's really great for layering. Also, you know, I can just put it with a pair of jeans. I mean, you'll see later with my outfits, but I really, really like having this at the ready in my closet. So the next piece is a pair of black trousers or slacks or dress pants. Obviously as a classical musician, this is a must for us. We really need to have a pair of slacks that we know fit really nicely and we look put together and tailored and ready to go. I know that when I'm playing a concert, I'm definitely someone who spreads my legs a little further than most. Uh, so having a pair of slacks is really great so that I can, I mean, you know, you just sit in your chair and you just need to like anchor yourself on the ground. I don't know, having slacks is really great for me because then I don't have to worry about flashing the poor people in the front row. Dresses and skirts are lovely as well. I wear those also. This just brings me a certain level of comfort. I think it's really versatile and you'll see later that it can be paired with many other items and can be worn off stage as well for maybe a little bit more of a dressed up look. Like maybe I'm going to rehearsal and want to look, you know, a little bit more jazzed up. That's where the slacks come in handy. These specific slacks I got several years ago from Banana Republic. You really just have to find the brand that works for you. I just have so much fun trying to buy pants, but I found these, they fit. I may have another pair of pants from somewhere else some other time in my life, but as for now, the Banana Republic pants are working great. The last item on the list I'm actually wearing, and that is a good pair of jeans. I know that I cannot wear these on stage for a concert, but I feel like when people talk about 
musicians and our attire and what we're wearing all the time. I mean, we play a lot of concerts, but I'm not on stage all day, every day. And sometimes I want to not be wearing concert clothes. So I think having a great pair of jeans that fit you really well and you feel really comfortable in is a must for me and my wardrobe. These specific pants I got from Madewell. I love Madewell and I've experimented a lot, a lot with jeans over the years. That is also a not so fun shopping trip for me is trying to find some jeans. Every time I find jeans that just fit me and make me feel my best and comfortable, comfortable, keyword, is such a miracle and just really makes outfit picking so much easier. But yeah, so far, made well, working well. The last two items are actually shoes. I have picked two very neutral shoes, but one is a little bit more casual and one is a little bit more fancy, dress up your outfit kind of shoe. The first shoe I picked is a white sneaker. It doesn't have to be these exact shoes, but for reference, these are the Nike Air Force Ones. They're very comfy. Really any white sneaker, there's literally so many white sneakers out there and I'm sure probably all of you have some kind of tennis shoe that you like that's, that's a nice neutral color so that it can go with all of your outfits. The next shoe I picked is a black loafer. Um, really just black shoes, black dress shoes. Um, everyone has their comfort level with what they like to wear in terms of dress shoes. I want to wear heels so bad, but I have the weakest ankles and I just will break my neck. So I've just come to terms with that and I have a pair of loafers that I know that I can like walk on stage in or really anywhere and not look like a fool. I will be pairing most of these outfits with one of these shoes. Because of the nature of this capsule, 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe and they're both pretty neutral shoes, the idea is that you'll be able to wear these outfits with anything. You'll be able to mix and match everything together. So probably I won't be able to pick which shoes I want to go with which outfit because I would wear most of the outfits with either of these shoes because they are neutral shoes. And it just depends on what look you're going for. A little bit more casual, a little bit more dressed up. And that concludes our 10 pieces. I just wanted to stress that it is completely unnecessary to go out and buy all of these specific items that I'm mentioning in terms of like brand, like I need that specific pair of jeans or specific blouse. So this is supposed to be just kind of like a video to inspire you to either reach into your closet and find items that you already have or maybe find some staples that can last you for a really long time and create some really fun outfits with it. All right, so without further ado, let's get in to the outfits. Okay, the first outfit that I have on is my neutral sweater, my little white layering tank, and some jeans, and you can't see, but my white tennis shoes. Oh, I'm not flexible, okay. This outfit is great for rehearsals. Actually, this is definitely something I would wear at a rehearsal. I feel very comfortable, but I feel put together. The sweater is gonna come in handy for when I'm freezing, because for some reason, every concert hall is freezing. But yeah, this is gonna come in handy to keep me warm. And I feel very cute, very neutral, very comfortable. I've, of course, paired it with some layering necklaces some earrings, some rings, just you know, spice it up a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna be pairing most of the outfits with that. So here's the first outfit. All right, the next outfit is actually pretty similar to the first one. I've just swapped out the layering tank with a little bit more fancy silk cami. This outfit is great because it kind of elevates that first outfit that was a little bit more casual, but I've spiced it up a little bit. I'll come a little bit closer with this black cami with the lace detailing. Got this nice cashmere sweater, obviously the jewels, and paired it with some jeans so it's a little bit more casual. I could wear this to rehearsal, I could post COVID wear this to a bar, to a restaurant, to wherever, and feel like I'm dressed up 
enough for whatever occasion, but still feel nice and casual because I'm wearing jeans and <laughs> white sneakers. Also, I didn't mention this at all because it's not, it's kind of cheating because it's not one of the pieces, but I have been wearing everything with this leopard belt. So that kind of makes it fun. I don't know. I mostly just needed something to keep my pants up and I don't own any other belts. But yeah, I don't know where this is from. They sell them everywhere. I will figure out what it is and leave it in the description box down below. So there is another outfit. My head's gonna get cut off, but the next outfit is my white button up, my jeans, white tennis shoes, a classic outfit. I don't know why I decided to wear a bright pink bra for this filming. I probably wouldn't do that in real life. It's a very classic, I feel very put together, but I'm wearing jeans, so I feel nice and casual at the same time. I could leave it untucked. I could tuck this in, maybe like a one of those half tucks so you can see that I'm wearing jeans. But yeah, this is a really great, I feel like I'm doing aerobics. This is a really great rehearsal look. You know, I'm going to the grocery store. I'm, you can do anything really in this except for play the concert. Practice, you know. I'll probably be practicing in my sweatpants and some slippers. But, you know, if I was feeling fancy, I could practice in this. I'm, it's pretty comfortable. My jeans are, they're a looser fit. So I feel like I can like function in everyday life in this outfit and know that I'm looking cute, still pairing it with my, my jewels so I can kind of amp up the outfit a little bit. But this is one of the outfits. All right, the next outfit is a little more spicy. As you can tell, I've put on my fancy black concert blouse. Um, I feel like most of the time I don't reach for my concert anything outside of playing a concert because I wear that stuff so much and I want to wear the other stuff in my wardrobe. But this is just kind of a way to, I don't know, show how some of these tops can be used outside of playing a concert. I've paired it with my jeans and little fancy, fancy belt. I kind of got like leopard print on leopard print right now. And my white sneakers that you can't see. This is a really nice way to reuse some concert tops and I don't know, it kind of gives it a little bit of a refresh. Like, oh, I'm used to wearing this on stage and with slacks. And don't worry, we'll see that outfit too. But it's kind of nice to, I don't know, use pieces in your wardrobe in different ways. It kind of makes me feel like I just bought a new top. It's like, oh, I've never worn this with jeans. Ooh, a nice way to take a concert look and dress it down a little bit. So there's this outfit and I'll see you in the next one. And now for the moment we have all been waiting for. Black Blazer is out. She's about. She is killing it. Yes. Black Blazers can be worn with anything, but I've paired it with my jeans again and my little silky blouse here and tennis shoes. I'm all about comfort these days and the white tennis shoe, I mean, it goes with everything. So I'm going to put it with a blazer and I think it's cute. So you should too, if you want. So I don't know if you can see what I meant with maybe it being a little too snug for certain concerts. There are some concerts that I would feel totally fine playing in this, um, but if I'm doing some really heavy duty playing, perhaps I would go with my H&M one. Still love this blazer, still gonna be buried in it, love it. Yes, love this outfit and I hope you do too. The next outfit is pretty similar to another one that I've already tried on, but this time I paired my neutral cardigan and my silk cami with my black trousers. This is an outfit that I feel like I can wear it a couple of different ways. I could wear this to rehearsal, I could wear this out, I could wear this to maybe a little bit more of a dressed up event. I feel like the addition of the cami makes it a little bit more toned down, a little bit more casual and comfortable. I'm currently not wearing any shoes and that's because I couldn't pick between which shoes, my dress shoes or my tennis shoes. And I feel like you could actually wear both with this outfit. I would 100% wear this outfit with my, my black pants 
and white tennis shoes, or if I wanted to dress it up, I could put on my cute black loafers. This is a really great way to kind of elevate the previous outfit with jeans just a little bit more if I was going somewhere a little bit more fancy. I don't know when that's happening, but in case it does, in the near future, I will be ready with this outfit. This outfit really showcases this sweater a little bit more. I, of course, love to wear it open, but I love this detailing of the buttons. And it's really nice, actually, to just wear buttoned up. And you can really do this with any of your sweaters. You can wear them just as tops, which is a really nice way to kind of reuse a piece that we use all the time in a different way. But I really like this paired with some black trousers, put it with my cute little loafers, my white tennis shoes. I'm indecisive, so yet again, I am not picking what shoes go with this outfit. I will leave that up to you, but I would use both depending on where I'm going. Again, we are pretty much all neutral. I guess it's kind of a theme that's running through the rest of my wardrobe is just that neutral look. It's really great when you're picking investment pieces or capsule wardrobe pieces to get some that really match everything. But trust me, there's plenty of color in my closet that can come out in separate videos. But for now, it's really great because we can really pair this with each item that I have here. The only color we're really seeing right now is my bright pink sports bra. No. Other than the pink, I think this is a really beautiful outfit. I wore an outfit pretty similar to this recently. I wore this more leopard print blouse and my black slacks for a couple of recordings here at New World. And it was really comfortable. I've just paired it with my blazer because I love this blazer. And I really like the look of this like tied blouse and the blazer, it's very sophisticated. Obviously I would pair this with my little loafers, but you know, I mean, you can also pair this with your white tennis shoes, so. But probably I would first go with the black loafers because it really looks like I'm going somewhere fancy, so just finish that off with the fancy shoe. But yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with a really well-tailored blazer and a very cool blouse. I'm obsessed with this blouse and want to wear it as often as I can. And then of course we have our black slacks. So you really can't go wrong with this outfit. It is beautiful. It looks great on, well-tailored. I, I love this one. Yeah, it's gonna look good in some recordings. I hope you liked it as well. This next outfit is my white button-up paired with my black trousers. I could put this with my white tennis shoes to make it a little bit more casual and spice it up a little bit more, a little bit more dressy with my black loafers. This is a really nice outfit for rehearsal depending on what button-up you've picked. If your button-up is a black button-up, you could wear this for a concert. Like most of the outfits, it just feels really well tailored and I feel very put together and clean and crisp. You really can't go wrong with a button up and slacks. This outfit is definitely a staple in my wardrobe. For the last outfit, I've actually paired it with the tank that I'm wearing at the beginning of the video. I think that you can use any of your neutral tanks. This is a color, but I still feel that it's neutral enough for this outfit. And it's kind of nice to have like a little something something underneath a black blazer and black trousers to give it a little bit more oomph. But this is nice because it's not an all black outfit, but I still feel tailored and cut clean. I could pretty much wear this anywhere. I can take the blazer off and then I just have a cute tank and some trousers, put the blazer back on because it's cute and I like it. You could actually wear this for a concert if you paired it with the black tank, which I have done and it's very cute. Like I mentioned, I live in Miami Beach. So I walked over to the hall in the tank and the pants. Blazer went on two seconds before recording because it's hot. But I love this outfit. I love this blazer. And I yet again hope that you also love this outfit and that you can find inspiration from it with your own wardrobe. So that concludes today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some outfit inspiration, some ideas for your own wardrobe. 
taking 10 pieces and turning them into 10 outfits. I think it can be really inspiring to dig into your wardrobe and use the pieces that you already have in new, fun, and creative ways. So I hope that this was inspirational for you to do the same. If you like this type of content, you like fashion videos, and you like talking about all things related to classical music and classical musicians, then please be sure to like this video and subscribe down below. Make sure to hit the little notification bell. It really helps me. And that way you can know every time that I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week right here at the Marley Note.